Hi, I'm Kyle Spencer from e and Ventures. I just wanted to take a couple of quick minutes and introduce you to my online web series to kind of help you guys out. Now, to kind of give you a, an, an intake on, on an insight on what it is that I actually am working on and doing, I've actually created a series of online web videos for our booking website. You know, to kind of make it drum up, you know, foot traffic to the website, foot traffic on our YouTube channels, which will then generate foot traffic and getting people onto our website that can actually go in and look at booking birthday parties or school events, church events, whatever the case may be. But, you know, if anything else, hey, at least it's entertaining to watch me talk about video games for two and a half minutes. You know, I mean, hey, talking about video games, that's what we do, right? But, so I figure if, I, if that works for our booking website, and it's helping generate a little bit more traffic than we're used to. Why not develop a web series strictly for you guys? And be somewhat informative and kind of help you guys along and kind of help generate ideas that may help you along in the, in, you know, in the short haul. And to kind of help things, you know, spread ideas around for you guys. You know what I mean? So, and for those of you that have never met me before, um, you may have heard my name tossed back and forth. I'm the guy that does your operations manuals. Uh, does all the bookings for our, you know for our company um, so a lot of the ideas that I've run by you guys that I have talked to you know now you have an indication of who I am you see me now uh, you may have seen my Facebook uh, you know pictures and, and my Facebook messages as well but here I am live and in the flesh <laughs> so uh, so to get things to kind of get things rolling here with uh, with our first web series video, I kind of wanted to talk about just a couple of things to kind of help generate revenue and generate business and foot traffic to you, especially while we're in the slow season. Um, you know, for those of you that have been in the business for a little over a year, a year, you kind of gotten the idea that the slow season, usually around the months of January, February, June, July, early part of August, you kind of get an idea of when your slow periods are. And for us, January, February are pretty slow. June, July are pretty slow. So with that, we kind of came up with three or four bullet points to kind of help push your business a little bit forward during those slow times. Okay? So one thing we kind of wanted to focus on is don't forget what season you're in. And what I mean by season, I don't mean by the fall or the summer or the spring. I'm more so talking about events that kind of happen within those seasons. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Christmas is, is gone now, so thank goodness. Um, but now we're in the, kind of like the month of February, so you kind of got to look at your season. February means what? Valentine's Day. And important to me, I don't know about you, but the Super Bowl. And most importantly, it should mean a lot, great deal to a lot of people, it's tax season. So with tax season, we know that a lot of people are going to have money to pass around. You know what I mean? Everybody's going to have, I won't say a huge abundance of it, but they're going to have enough to do events and birthday parties that they may not have been able to do towards the end of the year or the middle of the year. But now is the season and the time that people are starting to get their tax money back and for us to go get it. <laughs> so use that to your advantage. Kind of know what season you're in. Plan your... Plan events, plan promos, and create funky Facebook posts to kind of help within that season. You know what I mean? Um, not to mention, look into your town at some of your local events that are ongoing. Because all of us know the best way to drum up traffic is people got to see what you have. People are always going to ask questions. What does it look like on the inside? What does it look like? You know, we obviously see what it looks like on the outside. How does it function? If you can bring your trailer to a public event that we know there's going to be a lot of people at with kids, do the event for free. Trust me, it'll bring a lot of people to your business that'll end up booking with you. Maybe not at that exact minute, but they will in the in the future, maybe a little bit beyond that. So get those people looking at it because the more they look at it, the more their kids are going to be excited about it and want a book. So I'm telling you, the word of mouth, especially from kids, goes a long way. Trust me. I'm sure a lot of us have, a lot of you guys like me have kids and they will bug the pure A crap out of you until you get something that they want. And we all know that. 
So use that to your advantage as well. One last thing I kind of wanted to hint at, uh, and it's one that a lot of people don't tend to really think about all that often, know your new release video games. We all know that a lot, of tend to, a lot of the video games tend to release more towards the Christmas season. So we know there's a big pileup of games that are coming out around that time. But don't forget the spring. Spring, they tend to put out a lot more video games that you may not really focus on because they know it's tax season too. You know, so think about it. And don't always go with the games that you want to play. Trust me, there are games that kids play in our trailer that I'm like, that's fun, but hey, it's fun to them. And if it's fun to them, that's going to keep them entertained. It's going to keep them going. It's going to keep them booking. Trust me. So don't always just focus on the games that you want to play. Think about what they want to play as well because it, they're the ones going to end up playing it. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> kind of know your new release game. Stay on tune. Stay on par with what games are coming out. So that way you at least keep a new copy of a game that's coming out in your library because you, there's nothing worse than getting to a party and somebody asking, do you have Lego Marvel Avengers? And then you're like, hmm, that's a new game? You don't want that feeling. Trust me. Stay on top of your new releases. Know what's coming out. Know what people are going to want to play. Uh, just to throw a couple of quick titles out, you know, at you. Lego Marvel Avengers did just come out this past week. Uh, Street Fighter V is on the way for the PlayStation 4. Excellent fighting game for those of you that want to get something two-player fighting games in your trailer. Um, and there's also, uh, I want to say there's a Minecraft Education Edition coming out. You know, keep an eye on that one because I'm sure that's going to bring a lot more people to you. Um, Battleborn for all you for all you gamers out there that want something a little bit more mature rated. There you go. Uh, but again, just stay on top of your new releases. Know what's coming out. And trust me, it'll help out a lot in the long run. So there's just a couple of quick tidbits for you. Uh, I will be back every single week with a new video from the web series. Uh, this is just the first one, so I do want to thank everybody for taking a look at it. If you have any questions or comments, always feel free to either comment on this video or you can send me an email directly. If you don't already have it, trust me, Ms. Dana or Edward can give it to you. Um, so always, you can always get in contact with me with any questions or concerns you may have, and I will be glad to help. Our staff will be glad to help. We're always here. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already met Chico and McCary already. Uh, so we are always available at your disposal, so feel free to get in contact with us. So, and until next week, I will see y'all again later.